Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we went out to the Uniontown Mall. There was another card show in the area, sports card show with 50 tables. And man, we found some great stuff at this card show. So we'll take you around and we'll do the typical card show tour. We'll show you some of the booths and some of the tables and some of the things we picked up. And then at the end, I'll do a whole recap of everything we grabbed. First stop was at Ray's table. Ray and Jacob uh, just have great cards and look at all these i picked out some good ones look a mike trout psa 9 you don't see that one too often there's a nolan ryan rookie card there in a psa 2 i was thinking about maybe upgrading mine i've got a psa 1 there's also a bunch of otanis and just a whole bunch of great stuff they always have great stuff they always have great deals as well so if he was with me there she is quick little cameo and so i would end up picking up all of these cards except for two i'll show you which cards i picked up at the end of the video and then next up was Smog City Cards. Sophia was grabbing cards. She's uh, she's having fun picking up cards. And she picked up some cards. I think you spent 10 bucks here. Got a nice all-star relic, but that was our next stop. And then after that, we headed around the corner and we went over to Dante. There's Dante. You can kind of see him there off in the distance. We went to his table next and picked up some stuff there. But in the meantime, I was like, Where's, where are you? I looked back and you were still looking through cards mm -hmm. back there. And then once you caught up to me, uh, we picked up some stuff from Dante. Here's Dante's table. He said he was completely wiped out by the Washington Crown Center show, but there's a couple baseball cards left. I picked up that Willie McCovey you see right there, and also the card to the left of it, the body. And then he gave me this entire box. We're going to be auctioning this box off on probably Monday night. That entire box, he just said, go ahead, take everything we got here. Actually, those two boxes, all the autos, all the numbered cards. So if you want to check out a whole bunch of autos, we'll have those for you on Monday night. We're moving our auction back a day because of uh, the Super Bowl. Next, we stopped off at Mark's table. There's a 63 Mantle, and he had a bunch of great stuff. And man, I'll tell you what, so many great cards, and he did give me the deal of the century. Man, we, we picked up all of these cards, this entire binder. Uh, he must have come across the giant collection of 63 tops because there's like doubles of Gaylord Perry's rookie card in there in great shape, Tony Oliva. And then this whole binder, which was loaded with vintage. Look at all the 64s, a whole bunch of 63s, a bunch of 62s. And there's Hank Aaron's in there. There's Hall of Famers littered throughout this binder. But I picked up that whole binder and everything else from Mark. We'll tell you how much I paid at the end of the video. It was, um, I think it might, might be one of the better deals that I've had. But it's probably the best deal I picked up the entire year. So we'll break it all down for you with financials. There's Sophia grabbing some more cards. Next, we stopped off at DC Sports Cards. You can follow him on Instagram if you haven't already. And picked out a stack. Sevilla picked out a couple cards as well. And we spent $15 there. And then we ran into one of our subscribers. Okay. Hey guys, we're here with Cade. He watches all of the videos. He's a fan of the channel. Ran into him here at the Union Town Card Show. And we said we could get him in a video. Wanted to show what we picked up so far. I have a table over there. Oh, you have a table. Okay. Yeah. What do we got there? Show the camera. Bobby Miller. Bobby Miller, Royal Blue, 10 bucks. Okay. Do you sell cards on like eBay or Instagram or anywhere we can shop you about the just, just the card shows? Alright, so we'll go and stop by your table and make sure we get that in the video next. And uh, thanks for watching the channel, man. <laughs> And here's Cade's table. If you want to give him a follow on YouTube, there it is. Boy T Tops, B O I T Y Tops 21. I think that's that, that's how it's spelled. And Sophia grabbed one of his mystery bags. Actually, two of them. He had $5 mystery bags. So we're going to open those up. Actually, she wanted to open them up right away. So she's going to open them up and we'll show you what she got in our new series that we're starting. It's called Channel Member Monday. A whole bunch of little clips from throughout the weekend. And we'll show you what she got along with uh, some other clips from this weekend. Now, let's show you what I picked up and break it all down for you in the recap. All right, everybody, back from the card show. Got a whole bunch of stuff here to show you from the Uniontown card show. Now, it's a smaller show, so I wasn't expecting to find, you know, all that much in terms of crazy deals. But I came away with a good bit. Um, of stuff. So I was pretty happy with my haul. We'll go through everything and show you what I picked up. Some of this stuff will be available in our next auction, which will be Monday night. We're going to take our auction and push it back one day because typically we do auctions on Sundays, but tomorrow is the Super Bowl. So we'll be back a day because I feel like most of you will want to watch the Super Bowl. And uh, Monday night we'll be auctioning off some of this stuff along with other things as well. So we'll start things off from uh, DC Sports Cards. 
had a, he's always set up at local card shows, and he gave me this whole stack for $15. Here's what we've got. Gabriel Moreno, that is going to be a sepia refractor along with his regular refractor. I like him. I think he's one of the top 10 to 12 rookies in the 2023 class. There's a Technicolor Francisco Alvarez. Now, Sophia was there, and she was picking up cards as well. So she's uh, she's getting into cards. She had a really fun time at the uh, Houston TriStar show buying cards, and she had a great time auctioning them off. I mean, she's a much – I feel like she's way better at uh, auctioning cards than I am. She, like, she brings the uh, – definitely brings the energy. If you watch the auction, man, she was hyping them up for sure. But she bought that one to try to auction off. And Adley Rushman, rookie card from National Baseball Card Day, picked up some vintage cards, Mike Schmidt. Bob Gibson, Gaylord Perry, that's a 78. We've got some 1972 cards here. Here's another 72 in Joe Morgan. Nolan Ryan, 1980 tops. I love that card. I feel like I've purchased this card probably a good, like, 50 times within the past two years. Every time I see it, I grab it. George Brett, 1980. Then Barry Bonds, 1987 Donruss card right there. By the way, the the uh, blue marks here it means $3 card. I had to uh, kind of harass Sophia a little bit. I'm like, hey, you paid $15 for a Barry Bonds rookie card this weekend. That one's only three. It's a great price. Fantastic price right there. And Hayden Wisniewski, Cubs rookie auto for three bucks. Couldn't pass on that. So that was that was one of our stops, 15 bucks. Another stop was Smog City cards. And I think Sophia grabbed all of these. Um, I gave her a little help on this one. She's like, is this one good? Is this one good? Is this one good? And I was like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. So... I helped her. Uh, these uh, are a couple short prints right here. We have Michael Harris and Mookie Betts. We've got Starly Marte. Speaking of Sophia, she's coming downstairs right now. I'm just showing off your haul here, the, uh, talking a little bit about <laughs> some of these cards that you picked up. And Juan Soto, that's a game used bat. So these are yours. I said that uh, in the auctions, you bring the uh, you pr definitely bring the energy more than I do. Yeah. Uh, hyping them up. Let's see what else we have. Next bag here. These are all in bags, so we'll go through and see. I don't have the exact total that I spent. Uh, by the way, those small city cards, he gave those to me for, I want to say, ten, a crazy good deal. All these, Sophia, did you remember what he what he asked for these? Yeah, it was like 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Yeah, I was. I thought that was a fantastic price. So it's almost like getting these two for free, so you'll be auctioning those off on Monday night. Next, this is from Dante. Dante uh, had some baseball cards left. He said he'd absolutely been wiped out at the Washington Crown Center show last weekend, 425 tables. And uh, these two um, were some of the only baseball cards he left. You know, only had 10 cent boxes, a couple autographs. We'll show you some other stuff we picked up from Dante. But these were 10 bucks. I think the Flyers are in, in here. I got them, actually. They're in this binder. We'll be getting to that. All right, next up, this Mets stack. I thought this was a great, great deal. Man, I can't. You know what? I can't remember the guy's name that I bought this from, but I've seen him at shows, so I apologize that I've, I forgot your name, but. He gave me a great deal on these. Some of these cards were yours. I talked Sophia into buying this one. I was like, look, it's Jose Canseco, and it's his rookie card. And she's like, yeah, but Fleer's bad. You said Fleer's bad. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's 91 Fleer. This is an 86 Fleer update. Jose Canseco rookie. Do you want that for your collection? Do you have, like, a Jose Canseco PC right now? PC. PC, like personal collection. Um, I would say, yeah. You want that These one? These are the only cards I have. Okay. You, you can auction it, or you could or you could auction it, or you can keep it. Barry Larkin, the, this one was, basically this one was essentially free. I'll tell you what I paid for this entire stack here in a second, but originally it was uh, two bucks. Ali Rushpin, rookie card, $4 price tag on that one. Sophia picked that one out. A hot rookie, Frank Thomas, 1990 score. You never see this one, so... I figured we'd give this one a try. Pretty cool card right there. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., rookie card from Topps Update. Sophia picked out that, that Guerrero. She also picked out Kyle Tucker. I know, you and Kyle Tucker, you keep picking out Kyle Tucker cards. You picked out his card at the card show in uh, Houston, although you put it back. Yeah. <laughs> and then I thought these were great prices. Look at this. Ronald Acuna Jr., PSA 10, rookie for his... 2018 Tops update and also his 2018 Tops Chrome update, 60 bucks. So all together in this whole stack, we're probably like I don't know 130 ish or so. Uh, he gave me the entire stack for 100 bucks, which I thought was a great deal. I would have paid 100 just for these two all by themselves. Two Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie cards, fantastic stuff right there in that one. All right, next let's see what we have here. Okay, this is from Ray, Ray and Jacob. They're Set up at a lot of these shows. Great guys, father, son team. Jacob was away at college, but this is what we picked up. And the do you remember the title on this? Was it four hundred? 
Yes. $400 on all of these. And Sophia actually saved me. She's like, after we did the deal, she's like, I think you left one of your cards behind. And it was this card right here that I left on the table off to the side. So I went back and grabbed it. But it is a George Springer Rookie Auto for $25. This was tossed in basically for free for doing the deal. But here's what I picked up. This is going to be in the PC. It is an Andrew McCutcheon one of one. It is his rookie card. It is his rookie card printing plate one of one. So these, uh, there's only one of these in the world, Sophia, a one of one pink printing plate. Yeah. Or uh, yeah. I guess magenta. I think for these printing plates, they'll have like magenta and like blue and yellow. So there might actually be like maybe three of these out there or whatever. But this is just a fantastic card right here. I see Sophia just went off across the uh, basement and she's doing the balance beam right now, distracting me. <laughs> but yeah, we got the, we were down here, a little behind the scenes stuff. Got this big, uh, big finished basement. I can never show it to you because it's always so messy. Sophia cleaned it all up. It took her like a whole day. <laughs> Maybe we'll start shooting some videos down here. So that one, this by the way, was $150. Was that an overpay? Was it uh, an underpay? Was it market value? I felt like it was a, a good price. Andrew McCutcheon. He's a pit. I mean, there might be a statue of Andrew McCutcheon outside of PNC Park in 10, 15 years. He is so loved in this city. Yadier Molina rookie card. It's a PSA 10. This is another one that's going into the personal collection. It's going into the slab bin. I've got a whole bin of slabs behind me in a drawer, and uh, I need to start like transferring some of those into my slab case. But there was 150 for this. That's about market price. Okay. Next, we've got. The Bryce Harper, so we're at three hundred between these two, and then these two. He said, he said a hundred bucks for these two combined. So Bryce Harper PSA ten, and also a Shoyo Otani. This is the Japanese version. It's in Japanese at the bottom. The Japanese Otani rookie card, as well. So basically, hundred bucks for. The, I don't know how it splits up. He's like these two for hundred, these two for three hundred, and then there's also a Mike Trout rookie card that i put back it was a psa 9 the price point on it he was asking 500 for it and i i was going to buy it except i don't know i'm just a little stickler i guess there was a little bit of a, a chip or a nick on the holder a little scratch on the holder so i couldn't do it just because uh if i, I feel like if i'm gonna pay like 500 dollars for for a card i want i want the holder to be absolutely perfect show showroom condition so to speak so just uh, I put that one back, but yeah, that card talked about that Trout PSA nine rookie card 2011 update two years ago, year and a half ago. It was a fifteen hundred dollar card. Now you can get it for five hundred dollars. Pretty crazy, huh? Just never know. All right, so that brings us to Mark, who has a a great website, and uh, we'll share the website. We'll share the upcoming big show. But he gave me what he called. You remember what he called it? The deal of century the deal of the century is what he called it i'll probably title that this video too but so basically we went in there let me find it first and um trying to find a card sophia said i need to find a mickey mantle because people are roasting me <laughs> for calling him ricky mantle in the houston tristar video um sophia is just just now learning about cards and uh, she knows who mickey mantle is now so she's like i want to get a mickey mantle today and this is the one that she, she put her eyes on. And I was like, all right, let's see what it's going for. And Mark offered this card to me for a fantastic deal. Um, just absolutely crazy good deal. Only $20 for this card. 20 bucks. It's a 1963 Mickey Mantle Bomber's Best card. And it's in great shape, too. It's not like it's off condition with creases. The corners look pretty sharp. There's it's it's a fantastic card. So that was 20 bucks. And then he apparently picked up a bunch of 63s because there's this whole stack. And he put the stack out for me to look through. And I looked through them. And uh, this is what he had. Juan Marichal, Warren Spawn. So already two Hall of Famers and then a Willie Mays. And then there was 62s in there. So all Hall of Famers so far. Bill Mazeroski, Dick Grote, who's not a Hall of Famer, but he did win the 1960 NL MVP. Bob Gibson right there. I believe that's a, what, 63 Fleer show. So... Lou Gehrig, my dad had this card. I thought this card was fantastic. 1961 tops, I think this one is. You got the Yankees team card right there from 63. Mickey Mantle's on that card somewhere with Roger Maris. Ernie Banks, 1963. Then we've got a Tony Oliva rookie card, which is crazy. You've got a Gaylord Perry rookie card. And there's, there's two of them. 
two. He's a Hall of Famer. You've got a Roberto Clemente checklist. You've got Roberto Clemente times two, 1963 tops. And then another Mickey Mantle baseball scoops as well. I forget the year on this one, but um, just crazy right there, right? So I was just curious. I was like, all right, what's this for, for the whole stack? What will you do for the whole stack? So he said, all right, pick up that Mantle too. And then he put these down. He's like, I'm going to make you the deal of the century. What do you think it was? $150. $150 for all of these. The, all these rookie cards. So I like that. And uh, I was going to do it. But then I noticed this uh, this binder. And he said, take a look through this binder too. So I looked through this binder. Let's take a look at this binder real quick. This binder was a uh, it was a pickup. Somebody, you know, when you set up at card shows, one of the good things about setting up at card shows is, A, you make sales, you move some of your stuff, but also people will bring you stuff to buy. And so he picked this up from somebody, and uh, you will see that this is going to have a whole bunch of vintage in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this, because I know you guys like seeing stuff like this. Eddie Matthews, 1962 tops. He is a Hall of Famer, 500 home run club member, Warren Spawn. 1962 Hall of Famer. So there's Hall of Famers sprinkled throughout this. And the thing that caught my eye in particular is there's a whole page of leader cards with like Hank Aaron on it and stuff. And um, you got rookies sprinkled in as well that you'll see there. And there's something kind of funny near the back end. You're going to be like, what the heck is that doing in here? But um, it's like, uh, okay, that's kind of interesting. But here you see we have earned run average. Look at this. I love cards like this. These cards right here, 63 tops. Look, you've got, let's see here, Roger Maris, Harmon Killebrew, Sandy Koufax, Don Drysdale, Bob Gibson. Up here, you've got Stan Musial, Frank Robinson, Hank Aaron, Frank Robinson, Willie Mays, Orlando Cepeda, Willie Banks. There's five Hall of Famers on that card. That's that's an amazing card right there. Five Hall of Famers up there. And then down here, you got Sandy Koufax, Don Drysdale, uh, Jim Bunning. Just It's loaded up. With Hall of Famers. I love those cards for sure. And then we get into 63s. You'll have some good players in there like Tony Kubek. And uh, there might even be some high numbers in here. I haven't really like broken it down all that much and gone through all of these. My plan was just to find a page that I liked. And I'll show you the page that I liked the most. I didn't even see that page with the, all those Hall of Famers on it from 63. But if we take a look at these 63s. There is a page in here. That you'll see, look, there's two Roger Maris cards right there. Some of these cards we should just give away because wait till you hear what I paid for this binder. It's pretty crazy. Definitely the deal of the century. All right. Jim Cott, he's a Hall of Famer. A couple of his 63 Tops cards in there. You got Billy Williams. He's a Hall of Famer. There's who else do we have on this one coming up. I think it's the 64s. Yeah, this is where we get to. We'll, we'll show you the next big cards. You can catch Mark there. You can catch Bryce from State Classy Cards. These card shows I'm going to mention. But this is a page. I was just going to ask, what do you want for this page? I was thinking, uh, I was like, all right, so 150. And I was like, how much extra if we, we throw in this page right here? Because you see there's Hank Aaron on there. You've got um, Hank Aaron on this page as well. Because I wanted some Hank Aaron cards. I love these cards. Warren Spawn, Sandy Koufax, Sandy, Sandy Koufax, Don Drysdale. He's like, all right, a deal of the century, get ready. I wish we were filming it because he, like, he, man, he was really, really good with the pregnant pause. Did you, did you notice that? He's like, deal of the century, and then he paused, and I'm thinking, okay, is he gonna, is it gonna be an extra 100, an extra 200 bucks for this? He's like, all of this, and he took all the cards that I already went through. He's like, we'll do all of these, and we'll do everything in this binder for. 150 bucks. So this binder was free for all intents and purposes. Got this whole binder for free from Mark. Who, and he also has a huge, huge announcement coming up. So I'll get to the funny part. Look at this. What the heck is like, there's 91 Donruss and uh, like 88, 88 Donruss back there. And there's a couple 92 Donruss in there as well. So you got all these fantastic cards with Hall look, 57 Pee Wee Reese right there. All these, Christy Mathewson, all these great cards in this binder. And then there's just some random cards worth maybe not even a penny a piece at the end, which is pretty funny. There's Nolan Ryan, Coca-Cola card right there. So fantastic stuff at the card show. And let's go ahead and share when the next big card show is where you can find Mark, you can find Bryce from State Classy Cards, you can find a lot of these dealers. 
I'll tell you what, we've got some good dealers here in Western Pennsylvania at these card shows. So first, we'll tell you when the next big one is. The Sports Cards, Collectibles, and Pokemon Show. And this is the website that Mark runs. He, he's the one that uh, gave me this binder with all the other stuff. Check his website out. There's going to be a big announcement coming. He said, what, biggest? What do you say, Sevilla? Biggest announcement ever? Biggest and thing he's ever planned or anything. Biggest thing he's ever planned in Pittsburgh sports card history is coming. And it's going to be dropped on this website. He said probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I have no idea, but uh, it's, I think it's going to be something pretty big. Maybe about, I, I have no, I'm not going to speculate, but... The, uh, the next big card show coming up that I think is going to have at least 100 tables is going to be coming up at the Castle Shannon VFD Memorial Hall. There's the address right there, 3600 Library Road. It's Sunday, March 24th, so about a week before opening day or so from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. I went to this show. I think it was back in December. It was fantastic. Free parking, free admission, lots of great stuff there. It was packed. And uh, you can always check out Pittsburgh Card Show for all the upcoming big card shows. But that's the next big one. And then if you missed the card show this past weekend, I missed it. I was in Houston, but it was at the Washington Crown Center Mall. It was 425 tables, the biggest ever card show in the area. And I heard it was absolutely fantastic. Um, just it was wall-to-wall -wall people, wall-to-wall -wall cards. And I uh, heard the, the dealers did fantastic. I heard it. A lot of people came with fantastic deals, but the next big one coming up is May 4th and May 5th, so Cinco de Mayo. We have a big show coming up, Pittsburgh Card Show. It'll be at the Washington Crown Center again. Uh, over 400 tables once again. It's one of the largest shows in the country. Man, I went to the Houston TriStar Show, which is billed as one of the largest shows in the country, and you know what? It was the same exact number of tables. They are both a little over 400 tables, so you don't even have to travel that far if you're in the Pittsburgh area, Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, Maryland, New York, you can, you're all within a couple hours of this show. So mark your calendars for Saturday, May 4th and May 5th, and check out Pittsburgh Card Show and see what that big announcement is coming up midweek, this coming week around Valentine's. I can't wait to figure out what that is. But yeah, that's everything we picked up. Just so fantastic stuff at the card show. Probably spent all together, let's see, 150, 400, that's 550. You probably spent almost around 600 bucks on everything and uh, very, very happy with the pickups from the Uniontown Card Show. So that's all we have for you for right now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. If you're looking for the top 40 countdown for today, one number five, it's Tom's Tribute, and that box is unsold, so I might make it into a short. We opened a bunch of tribute earlier in the year, so maybe I'll just find a nice pull from that and put that on the shorts page, but we're getting closer and closer to the top series one coming out for 2024. It drops on Valentine's Day the 14th. We do have uh, the rest of the videos, numbers one, two, three, and four. Those are sold and spoken for, so we'll have those videos coming up for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. We'll be live tonight on Patreon. If you'd like to check out the Saturday showdown, it's an exclusive um, video live stream that you can only see on Patreon, so check it out. We'll be live tonight over there in a little, little bit, maybe, maybe around 10 p.m. Eastern time or so. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening and I will see you all on Patreon. And if I don't see you on Patreon, then we'll have a regularly scheduled video for tomorrow and I'll see you live in our auction on Monday night. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.